the benefits of technology are towards our schools and classes? Okay, well, you know, you can't do anything in the world without technology right now, so why is it, like, not in schools? It's got to be in schools, because kids have to know when they get out of school, go to college, or go get a job, they have to be able to know how to do it. And to, to me, and I'm sure to most students, it's part of our everyday life. Um, well, specifically, if we're talking about mobile technology, it's hands-on and it's convenient. So it's real quick access to information. Um, you have access at home and it's a way of life, so you're used to Googling it if you want to know the answer. Or if you, you, it also spurs interest in other things and you can follow it on your own. So you have just easy access to a wealth of information. Um, the other thing it does is it, it creates collaboration, which is really huge to me. Um, I think you're more apt to collaborate with your peers if you have the t technology that's mobile instead of sitting at a desk or a station. Um, and it creates engagement in the classroom too. Students are more engaged whenever they have control of the situation. Um, and so it's not guided. For now you become the guide for your own learning. Uh, an opportunity that came up when someone from Google uh, for educators contacted me and said, would, be, would we be willing to have uh, Ken Burns remotely uh, you know, appear in our classroom? Um, and so it was in celebration of the 150th anniversary of the Gettysburg Address. And the reason Ken Burns was on there uh, was he's doing uh, a show around the Gettysburg Address this fall. And he wanted three schools from around the country to talk about it with him. And so that's an example of educational technology in schools that supports the learning because we should all be learning about the Gettysburg Address. And who better than Ken Burns to help us learn that?